Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HairTube. I'm here today in LA with Olive. Yeah, hi. Um, and we're going to cut her hair today. Mm -hmm. um, we had a bit of a chat already about what we're going to do and um, Olive's pretty excited to let me do whatever I like, but I explained to her that one of the things about short hair that I don't, well, it's not that I don't do or I don't like per se, but I'm not a big fan of is like uniform laid haircuts because I think sometimes they can look like tennis balls. Like it just yeah. grows out like a ball like round. Um, so we discussed uh, basically what I'd like to do and, and that's to have contrast. So um, she's got like, a fair bit of hair on the top here. She recently went from a bob to a short haircut. So I said that I'd like to focus today on really getting some strength and sh shape in the sides and trying to leave as much length on top as I could and just maybe working a fringe to sort of complement a face shape a little bit more. So yeah. I think that'd be pretty I'm cool. Excited. Yeah, it's like, uh, again, I spoke about in the last video I did it. Sometimes um, hairstylists can overcomplicate things, like they try and do too much. Um, and I think sometimes you can just work with what's there and sort of, I guess you can call it like tune it up rather than just like try and reinvent the wheel every time you cut someone's hair. It's like, not only does it make our job a little bit easier as hairstylists, and I'm not for a minute saying that, you know, we should try and be lazy or get out of it easy, but sometimes I think we can go a little bit too far and just like, overlook the simple adjustments we can make to the shape and the length of someone's hair as a solution to them wanting a new look rather than just like you know oh we're gonna have to do this that that and then like completely change everything so um hopefully we just make little changes today in yeah. terms of what we cut and make big changes in terms of how you look at the end go for it so in about 35 minutes or so i guess we'll know mm -hmm. but first i'm going to get olive over to the basin we're going to prep her hair shampoo and make it nice and relaxed and then bring it back and I'm going to start the haircut. Okay. See you in a minute.
So you can see we're done. Maybe a little cheeky haircut. So I guess we focused on changing the, you know, the shape of the nape. So you can see that there, this is obviously a lot shorter. Didn't take any length out of here at all, but obviously wanted to loosen it up um, by removing some of the bulk. The favourite part, I think, Olive loves it too, is how we sort of shattered a bang in the front. Oh yeah. It was very heavy before. If you go back and have a look at the video, I saw Olive, when she came in today, she was trying to wear it off her face, but it ended up having like this big amount of hair stuck in one place that didn't really work. Yeah. Now you can actually you know, sweep it off your face if you want, and you don't have that big chunk that was there, or you can... The idea is to... Be able to just, like, with hair this length, you should literally be able to like not use a mirror and go, bang, I'm really. done. I feel like sweat today, and you're gone. You don't have to worry about it, you know, not sitting well. I'll just no give more you... bad hair days. No, <laughs> no, only good hair days. So I'm just going to give you a blast. We'll get all the hair off you, and then we'll take the cape off, and I'll use some product, and we'll dress it out. That sounds good. So what do you think? Oh, yeah, that's... it's awesome. I love it so much. Let's I can't spin stop you around so we can see the back, my head. <laughs> just so we can show everyone. See, we focused on just like, as I said in the beginning, we want to create contrast in length. We didn't want to keep it uniform laid and have the one length all over. So I went real tight in the nape, down to like number one in here, and then scooped it out really quick so we could leave all the length. Same in the side, just did between my fingers like this, finger length to keep it tight, bring everything down to that point. Um, the length on the top, shout out to whoever did the last haircut, was pretty even, so I didn't have to change the length of it too much. It was just a little bit longer towards the front. You saw me lock that off. And it was about just scooping out all that extra weight and just um, creating some sort of looseness with the texture. And I love, I love your, I love your bangs are the best. Yeah, I'm super excited about these bangs. <laughs> I also love the back of it, like it just feels good. You probably heard me say in the video, I wanted to look like a little girl that had a go at her own fringe in the bathroom. So it's really hard to do that because vibe. as hairdressers, we, everything we've got to try and do neat and accurate. So when you're intentionally trying to make something look like it's being distorted, um, sometimes we fuss a bit too much and make it too neat and then it doesn't look sort of not here nor there. It's not like, you know, it's an it's a accurate fringe or a precision fringe and it's not like a loose, it's sort of somewhere in between. So then it can look like it's something that's been poorly done. So I think sometimes you have to think about it less and just sort of like feel it more and just do it. Thanks yeah. for trusting me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, turned, I love it. Turned out pretty you good. You said it would be my favourite haircut and it is. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> well, lucky I kept my word. Um, Big shout out to Matrix, thanks so much. Thanks to Eric and the team here at Summer Republic for having us. The guy sitting in the corner over there, just making me nervous always, like <laughs> sitting in the corner while I cut people's hair. Um, Ollie, thanks for your time, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, till next time, see you guys. Bye.